Okay, so we've learned tons of different formulas. For your quiz, you're going to want to know um, and your test coming up what all the different formulas are. So today we're going to learn our final formula for area of a circle. Uh, yesterday we talked about circumference of a circle. Do you guys remember what the formula was when I give you the diameter? Not A, it's circumference. Oh, it's C equals pi times, pi times D. D. C equals pi times D. Now what if I gave you the radius? What would that be? C equals two times, two times pi times R. R. 2 times pi times r. Good job. So today we're going to learn about the area of a circle. Go ahead and write this formula down. Okay, read to me. What is the formula whenever we're trying to find area of a circle? A equals pi times r. Okay, what does the r stand for? Radius. Radius. Okay, so radius, let's imagine now it's just this little part right here. But let's imagine that I was saying this line, that distance. What's that called all the way across the circle? Diameter, okay? So the note that I wrote down at the bottom, just as a review from yesterday, the radius will always be exactly half of whatever the diameter is. Now we're going to do the first one together. Okay, so number one says find the area of the circle, use 3.14 for pi. So let's start off with our formula. What is it? Um, A equals pi times r times squared. Yes. All right, what's pi? 3.14. What's the radius? 3 inches, okay? Do you guys remember PEMDAS? Yes. What does the P stand for? Parentheses, okay? Do I have any parentheses work that I got to do in there? No. No, there's nothing inside the parentheses I have to do. Is there any exponents? Yes. Yes, E stands for exponents. So before I do anything else, I've got to do my exponents. What is 3 squared? Nine. 9. So I know it's going to be A equals 3.14 times 9. Go ahead and plug that into your calculators to find out what our area is going to be. 28. Okay, why'd you square the inches? Every time you're finding the area, you always want your inches squared. So great job, guys. Any questions on how to do that first one? Okay, let's go on to the next one. Once again, we're always going to start off with our formula. What is the formula when finding the area of a circle? A equals pi times r squared. Okay, so there is something that I'm missing right now. I told you the diameter is 42 feet. Do I need to know what the diameter is? No. I don't. Okay, so what do I need instead? Radius. How do I find the radius? Divide it by 2. What is half of 42? Uh, 21. Okay, so that's the first step you got to do. We figured out the radius is 21. Now you're just going to plug it in. Okay, I want you guys to do it on your own. As I was walking around, quite a few of you did get the right answer, but some people were still kind of having a struggle with it. So let's go over this. What's the pi? Um, 3.14. Okay, what's my radius? Pi is 21. Squared. All right, so the first thing you want to work out is that 21 squared right there. What is 21 squared? 41. Okay, does this mean 21 times 2? No. No, it's 21 times what? 21. Times itself, times 21, okay? So when you did that and you worked it out, what'd you get? 1,384.74 inches squared. Okay, why are we doing inches? Oh, dang it. What should it be? Feet squared. I always look at the original. If it says feet, you want to do feet, okay? As I walked around, I saw lots of great answers. So let's just think about it. What is my formula for finding area of a circle? A equals pi times r First thing I have to do, because I gave you what the diameter is, you've got to find what the radius is. So what's the radius? 12.1. Good job. It's going to be exactly half of that. Was there anyone who forgot to figure out the radius first and you were plugging in diameter? Okay. We know that pi is 3.14. We know my radius is 12.1 squared. What is 12.1 squared? What was it, guys? 1.46.41. Okay, so now you multiply those together, and what do you get? Okay, listen, 
I asked you to round it to the nearest whole number. The nearest whole number simply means you're going to have nothing after the decimal point. So all of this is going to go away. Should it stay at 459? No, no why not? Because this round thing is bigger. Okay, this one is bigger than a 5, so we got to round up. So what's the answer? Okay, very good job. Any questions? Raise your hand if you got that one correct without me doing it. All right, more than half of you. Good job, guys. Now we're going to switch things up just a little bit. So for number two, it says to find the radius and the diameter of the circle with the given area. Use 3.14 for pi. So we're going to start off with our area and break it down to try to find out what the radius and the diameter would be. What is the formula that we got to start off with? Okay. Do I know my A? Um, 615.44. Good job. Do I know what pi equals? Yes. And since we don't know the R squared yet, we're going to go ahead and just bring down R squared. Okay, now the whole goal is to get what? R, the variable. The variable alone. What's not allowing the variable to be alone? The okay, the square. What else? Um, the R. R. 3.14. What do you think I'm going to get rid of first, the square or the 3.14? Okay, every single time you will leave the square there until the very end. So how can I get rid of that 3.14? By squaring it by multiplying it by itself. I divide it by itself. Okay, just like normal, the things that we've been doing. We're getting rid of times 3.14. The opposite of multiplying by 3.14 is dividing it. So this cancels out, but you can see on this side, I still have r squared. So r squared is what's going to be coming down. And what does r squared equal? 196. 196. Am I finished now? No. no, I don't know what, I don't want to know what r squared is. I want to know what r is. So how do I get rid of that square? The opposite of a square is to take the square root of something. So if I square root one side, I've got to square root the other. Now remember, a square root and a square, these two will just cancel out, and I'm left with plain old r equals, what's the square root of 196? 14 yards. yards. Okay, so I did hear positive and negative uh, 14 yards. Can I have a negative distance? No. So we're not going to say that it's a negative. That's just when we're dealing with integers and integers alone. But since it's a distance, it's just going to be positive 14 yards. Now... In my instructions, if you look back, it says to find the radius, which we did, and the what? Diameter. What's a simple and pretty quick way that we can find the diameter? You multiply it by 2, okay? Because we know if 14 yards is the radius, the diameter will always be double. So what's my diameter? 28 yards. 28 yards. All right. I want you guys to go ahead and try to do B on your own. I know that my formula is A equals pi R squared. We plug in that A, put in pi and R squared. What do I get rid of first? Okay, so we divide by 3.14. Always remember, keep your square until the end. When I do that, what do I get? R squared equals 81. Okay, how do I get what just R is? Do the square root, so what is R? Nine what? Okay, then what's my diameter? How'd you find that? You just double it, okay? Raise your hand if you got the right answer. Does anybody have a question for me? Something that does not make sense. Okay, here we go. Last and final example of the day. Find the area of the circle with the given circumference, use 3.14 for pi. So as you can see here, it's given us the what? The circumference. The circumference, okay? Do you guys remember what circumference means? Yes. What is it? The area around a circle. The area around a circle. So this is telling us right here, this is 18.84 meters around, the measuring the distance around. Do I want to know what circumference is? No. no, what's it asking us to find? Area. The area. That means it's asking me to know how many meters this space is, or meters squared. 
So I want you guys to talk amongst yourselves to see if there's any way you can figure out how to get from the circumference to the area. Okay, I like the thinking that a lot of you guys just had. Okay, guys, no more talking. Let's go ahead and talk this over together, okay? So we are going to go ahead and think about what we need to figure out. It's asking us for the area of a circle. What is the formula that we know for area of a circle? A equals pi times r squared. Do I know what pi is? Yes. Yeah, it's 3.14. Do I know what r is? Yes. No. 9.22. Does the problem tell me what the radius is? No. no. So we have to figure out what we know. This is what we know. We know circumference, but we don't know the radius. Tell me, what is a formula that has circumference and radius in it? C equals C pi equals times r. What is it? Times two. C equals two times pi times r. This is a formula that we know. That's what I put. So here's what you've got to do. Okay. You've got to use the information that was given to us and figure out what r is. Once we figure out what the radius is, then we will take that answer and plug it back in over here. So this is like a two-step problem, okay? So let's first figure out what the radius is. Do I know what C is? Yes. What is it? 18.84. 18 18.84 equals 2 times, do I know what pi is? 3.14. Yes. It's always going to be 3.14. All right, now we're going to solve for R so we can figure out what the radius is. What's 2 times 3.14? Six point two eight. Your goal is to get R by itself, so how do I do that? Good job. Divide by 6.28 on both sides. And this tells you what the radius is. What is our radius? Three. Three what? What is it? Three meters. Now, is that my final answer? No. No, I have to take this radius that we just figured out and plug it into that formula to find what the area of a circle is. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you've got to use what they gave us and figure out what we need to know for the area of a circle. So let's start plugging in. A equals, what's pi? Three four. And what's my radius? Three. Plug that into your calculators. Stand beside your chair once you know the answer. All right, according to PEMDAS, what do I have to do first? The exponent, okay? So what's three squared? Nine. Nine. When you multiply this together, what do you get? 28. Okay, did I ask you to specifically round it anyway? No. no. So you're going to give me the answer exactly as it came out. Okay, 28.26 meters squared is the correct answer. Tonight on your homework, there's going to be one problem just like that. So you're going to have to solve for R, and then you'll figure out what the area is. Okay? Tonight's homework, go ahead and write this down for me, is just six problems, so there's not too much, so I do expect everyone to be able to do it tonight, turn it in tomorrow, so we can earn another letter, um, and hopefully you guys can earn a homework pass, okay? So Good job today.